there are many scholars that would say that the Olympic Games is a contradiction and that's partly what makes it fascinating but those contradictions are often most evident in the stories that are created at an opening ceremony so in the Beijing 2022 opening ceremony we see as we do in all ceremonies the reference to Olympic truce we see the president make reference to it in a speech calling upon nations to observe the Olympic truce which is a United Nations endorsed protocol to compel or encourage or ensure that the games can take place in the absence of conflict and we also see elements in the ceremony that emphasize this message the presentation of doves and in this case as in other ceremonies of the past we also hear John Lennon's Imagine the words of which of course have inspired millions of people around the world but they include the sentence imagine there are no countries now this occurs immediately after we've seen a parade of nations or athletes depending on how you characterize it, but certainly flag certainly nationhood is part of what underpins the meaning that people derive from the competitions in the Olympic program so how do we treat this do we regard this as ultimately lip service to the idea of peace and we all love this idea but in fact we know that the world's too complicated so we can never actually realize it but we keep working towards it or do we just try to actually change some of these structures maybe get rid of the flags maybe get rid of the parade as being a nations based parade get rid of the references to athletes as being representatives of nations when in fact often they represent the culmination of lots of different nations helping them work towards Olympic competition. Athletes from Team GB will be training in different parts of the world by lots of different people from different nationalities. So these inherent contradictions seem to undermine the bigger message of trying to pursue peace through sport. And maybe we should work towards taking them out.